that's not the sound you want to hear when braking. All right, in this video we got a 2016 Toyota Hilux. And to me, it looks like the front brake rotors are completely destroyed because the pads were all the way down to the metal. So what we're gonna do is replace the front brake pads and rotors today on this vehicle. First things first, you wanna remove the two little pins that hold in the brake pads. From there, you should be able to remove the brake pads. You will have to compress the pistons in. Here's just a visual representation of what a brand new pad looks like versus the completely worn out one. From there, you'll have to remove a 12 millimeter bolt holding that brake line bracket on. After you've done that, there'll be two bolts holding this brake caliper on. They will be a 19 millimeter bolt. You'll need to compress the pistons back into the brake caliper. Before you do this, remove the brake reservoir cap and just make sure your brake fluid doesn't overflow. From there, give it a good clean and hang it up out of the way so you don't damage any of the brake lines. Remove the old rotor, give everything a really good clean behind there. Chuck a little bit of anti-seize on the face of the hub. This just prevents any sticking of the rotor in the future. Use a clean rag and some brake clean to clean the new rotor and get all the oils off of it as that's what they put on it in storage so it doesn't rust. Put the rotor on the hub and use a lug nut to hold the rotor in place so then you don't have any issues with it flopping around. Chuck the two bolts back in to the caliper to fasten it down. From there, chuck the new pads in and chuck a tiny bit of grease on the back of them. And when you do that, it will stop any sticking or uneven pad wear. Install the slide pins that hold the brake pads into the caliper. Don't forget to put the two little metal clips to hold those pins in as well. Also on the bottom pin, there'll be a little spring attachment that you need to make sure to reinstall. So then the pads can come off the rotors and you don't get any uneven wear. Then reinstall the bolt into the brake line mounting bracket. When you've done that, give the rotor a spray down with some brake clean and go over your work. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe for more.